Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for September 13th to the 19th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, you guys can also follow me on Instagram. Um, I do post readings, different readings over there as well. So if you're interested in that, the link for that is down below. So Scorpio, we have number 53, Magician in the Mirror. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Door to Value, number 31. I've had that for a couple signs already. Let's see, what else is going on for Scorpio? Scorpio, what's going on for Scorpio this week? Scorpio, Scorpio, what's happening? There we go. Manifesting dreams. So there's more of that magician energy. It's a 46. And then we have number one, air spirit knowledge. So you know what you want. And you know what you can have, I feel, is also a part of this with this door to value. Like, you know your worth. You know you deserve what it is that you're trying to create and manifest for yourself. And I feel like a lot of you know what you want. So this is really good. It's very clear energy. Like knowing your power, knowing your value, knowing your strength in a situation. I feel like you're actively working on this as well. We have the two of wands, we have the devil, and we have the five of swords in the recent past. Current energy, we have the six of pentacles, the high priestess, and the empress. Love it. Near future, we have the four of pentacles, the strength. And the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot and the Eight of Wands. With the Six of Wands. So you guys are going somewhere fast. Some uh, some aspect of like moving towards something very quickly. That is going to bring you some su sort of success. I feel like for some of you, you know, again, you know this. You have this inner knowledge, this inner wisdom. Um, very like, I have a lot of, because the High Priestess is a very strong card for manifestation as well. Um, I do feel like there's been some sort of conflict in your past that's maybe been holding you back from getting started or maybe people telling you you can't do something. There's been some sort of like conflict that's been restricting you um, in where you want to go. And some of you, it's had you stuck in the past because the two of wands is actually looking um, backwards, not forwards. So it's like, at least with kind of the, even the way it's like laid out in the spread, right? So something's maybe been kind of holding you back from what it is that you want to achieve or you just maybe haven't taken any actions and it could be maybe what you're telling yourself with this five of swords um or maybe what other people are telling you or saying there's also this element of like maybe you've been making a lot of plans but you haven't really been taking a lot of action however i do feel like it's been on your mind a lot with the devil here now in the current situation we have the six of pentacles the high priestess and the empress so very like uh i feel like you're very open to receive um you could be making make waiting for something to come towards you um some sort of opportunity especially with the six of pentacles like somebody offer you or offer their assistance offer their help but i also feel like you're manifesting like you're waiting for an opportunity here or some sort of situation to kind of open up Maybe between you and another person, if you're maybe this high priestess and this empress are you and another person, right? But it's almost like there's a there's a need for a balanced reciprocal energy here. So we're going to kind of clarify and see um, what's all going on here. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, Strength, and the Four of Cups. There's a sense of holding back, with the, especially with the four cups too it's like something's here but you're holding back on it and maybe it's not exactly what it is that you want i feel like again four pentacles you know what you want you're determined to achieve it it's like is it here yet is this is this what it is so you might be kind of like holding out for the right opportunity or the right, right situation as well but let's see what's this two of wands in the recent past for scorpio what is this two of wands in the recent past the Knight of Wands. So again, pl making plans to move forward in something. Clarify the Devil. 
Yeah, the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles. You've been really focused on this, whatever this material success, a lot of earthy energy, but also fire um, to bring some sort of personal happiness, personal success and fulfillment. Um, but also that's going to like the te the devil's actually a really good money card. What's this five of swords? It is Capricorn, right? So what's this five of swords in the recent past? The death and the hanged one. Yeah, something's been like, you've had to put this to end in order to move forward. Whatever this five of swords was, it was a situation that was holding you back. People were trying to like manipulate the way that you see things or the actions that you were going to take. It's like they held you back from walking away from a situation or... Uh, yeah, again, again, I feel like it's people that you were needing to kind of like release and move on from in your energy, even with the chariot here, like let go of a certain group of people or maybe walk away from a career or something like that, right? Maybe this is like people around you, your friends, your family. It's like you're starting to realize your worth. You know exactly what you want. And I feel like now you're kind of in this energy like no one's really going to stop me. What's this six of pentacles here? Clarify this six of pentacles. Queen of cups. Again, more receptive energy, like you're very receptive right now. High Priestess was the Nine of Swords. What's this Empress energy? Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you know your value and needing to walk away. I feel like you needing to, yeah, Six of Swords, Strength, having the courage here to, to move away from a situation. Needing to trust your intuition as well. Some of you were in a situation, especially with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, like you were in a situation that you were giving a lot of your energy to. Could have been just emotionally too, like maybe you're very empathic. And I feel like um, that's kind of blocked your intuition or like people weren't there, the situation wasn't allowing you to harness your full potential. It kind of maybe left you, left you really stressed and worried, I'm guessing. So if this is a relationship, I see you moving past a relationship, realizing what it is that you want, um, moving away from manipulative uh, partnerships, um, realizing how much you were giving to a situation and realizing that it was holding you back from your own. And I think you're starting to realize your worth and your value and needing to move on from the situation. Same thing in a business or career. It's like um, it was keeping you stuck. It was it was keeping you small the situations it was holding you back and you were giving a lot to the situation maybe not receiving a lot financially in return and knowing that you deserve better from this situation possibly really stressed um, which again was like holding you back from your truest potential so let's see what this four of pentacles is here uh, in the near future what's this four of pentacles queen of wands yeah like standing in your power yeah, fighting for what you want. Strength is clarified by the Seven of Wands. What's this? Four of Cups. The Hierophant. Yeah, you know what you believe in. I almost feel like people can't budge you. There's a lot of, like, rigid energy, but in a, like, I'm going to stand up for what it is that I want. Um, and holding back. Four of Swords at the bottom. Give me one more with this Four of Cups and the uh, Hierophant here for Scorpio. Six of Wands. So again, you're wanting to like ensure success. You're trying to like make sure it's the right decision for yourself. Some of you, this is it. This is in love. Like maybe there's a love offer. Um, you may feel like it's not the right time for some of you. Is what I just got. We have the Sun. You're definitely focused on yourself. But it's like whatever opportunity is coming in here, you're trying to make sure it's the right. Does this fit into my future? Is this the right decision for myself and where I'm going? And does this um, does this fall into the category of like what I believe in? And is this allowing me to grow and expand? Like, is this bringing me farther into what I actually want? Or is it ho is it the decision that's going to hold me back? Right. So there's a little bit of like investigative type energy. I think you're going to have to go with how things feel. Take your time, stand up and communicate what it is that you want and what it is that you believe in. Um, but you're very powerful, I feel. Again, it's like nobody's holding you back. No one's able to stop you from getting what it is that you feel you want or feel you deserve, Scorpio. You're very clear and you know that you're moving forward. I, th I think you know where you want to go. With this Four of Cups, though, it's like, Okay, now there's an opportunity. Does this fit where I want to go, right? So it's like trying to make the right decision. And that's the Seven of Swords too, is like trying to make the right decision. 
it may come across as deceptive but and again maybe reach out to people around you like don't try to do everything on your own there may be people who can help you help shed some light on this situation maybe your family or your friends um, people who you can trust go to those people so let's see what your uh, spirit animal wisdom is here Scorpio what does Scorpio need to know we have llama soul growth growth is never easy have faith and trust in the journey yeah it's not going to be easy for you to walk away but i feel like you know you need to there's no doubt in your mind that you know you need to leave if there was there won't be and then we have ladybird luck all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard i'm going to get you one more because i have had these cards for other people we have otter initiations be open through this transitional time yeah, there's like new opportunities. I feel like maybe you need to be a little bit more open. Like don't shut this other opportunity out. Uh, this Four of Cups opportunity. But just trust that you're being led, especially with the Hierophant being led. Believe in yourself. We have Snake, Kundalini Rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality and welcome transformation. Whale, Tenderness. Show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. So yeah, let go of the past and just like fully immerse yourself in this transition because you're you're definitely manifesting what it is that you want because you're very clear on it so that is what i have for you scorpio hopefully that's helpful for you guys let me know down below if not you can check out your other readings um, but i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i'll see you all in the next one bye